All right you guys back with another leonardo.ai video so i received an email from leonardo.ai and they have given me an early access to some of their latest features one of them is called alchemy if you are familiar with alchemy you must be waiting from a long time to use this feature so in this video i'm going to cover all the latest features and tools that you can use and how are they different from the previous version of leonardo.ai so first, if we go to AI image generation, there are a few changes in the interface. As you can see, there is this alchemy which you can turn off and on at any time. High resolution. So if you click on this high resolution button, all your images will be of this resolution. Then there is contrast boost which will increase the contrast of your images. Then there is resonance. This dictates how much detail there will be in your image rest of the features are same now we will compare images that have been created using alchemy turned on and then alchemy turned off and we'll see how different are they now when you turn on alchemy there is not only these features that you have there is one more new tab that you can play around with so there is the general mode and there are many other modes that you can play around with there are anime creative dynamic environment general illustration photography 3D render, sketch color, so whatever style of images you want, they have made it easy using this interface. This is the first prompt I am going to use in order to compare the images. All the prompts that I am going to use in this video are in the description down below. First we will generate an image without the alchemy, so I have turned off the alchemy mode and now I am just going to click on generate. These are the images without the alchemy turned on. Now I'll turn on the alchemy mode and I'll generate the same images with some of the different modes that are given. So first I'm going to choose environment and then I'm going to click on generate. And as you can see the image quality is something else, it is out of the world. And previously I never got these kind of results with Leonardo.ai. But now I think it's even better than mid journey in some cases because you have a lot of control over the images. So these are the two results that I got and I'm really happy with both these results. So this was the result with uh, resonance turned on to 15. Let's try cranking up the resonance to around 20 and decrease the contrast. Higher resolution is already turned on and expanded domain. So let's switch on expanded domain as well and now let's click on generate. I didn't find the images that appealing with resonance turned to 20 as it's given right here. It's always recommended to keep the resonance from 13 to 15. It's a good balance. So we'll keep our resonance from 13 to 15. Now let's change environment to 3D render and see the results. And these are the final results. As you can see, the results are amazing. These results have a different depth to it and the contrast so we can control the contrast boost from right here. Now let's try another mode for this image. So I'm going to turn this mode from... So let's take it to photography and let's try photography. So as you can see these are the results and different modes have different details. So this has a lot more detail because it is photography and it is meant to be a highly detailed. Now let's get on to the next prompt. This is the next prompt that I'm going to use. Let's turn off alchemy and let's generate some images using Leonardo Diffusion. So let's click on generate. So these are the images using Leonardo Diffusion and alchemy turned off. Now I'm going to turn on alchemy and take it to photography or environment and I'll keep fine tune model to Leonardo Diffusion and click on generate and just look at the difference between these images now let's try photography for the same images using alchemy just look at the detail of these images I'm really amazed by the detail and the depth now what alchemy essentially does is it takes a very basic and small prompt and uses it to create something really full of detail unlike the previous version so in the normal version of Leonardo you need to put a lot of negative prompts and a lot of details into the prompt 
in order to get a really good result. But not with alchemy. Alchemy is something else. It takes your image generation to a next level. Now let's try dynamic. These are the results for dynamic. Now let's change the fine tune model to dream shaper. And just look at these amazing images. I'm really really amazed with the detail and I'm really happy with this new feature that they've just launched. It can it has the potential to create some amazing looking images. Now let's switch back to let's keep this to dream shaper and switch it from dynamic to photography. And look at these images. Amazing. Now let's move on to the next image and prompt. Before we move any further, these are some of the previous results I got using alchemy. So as you can see, this image right here. Look at the depth and the detail of this image. And some of the other images too. The detail is insane. So alchemy brings out the detail of an image and it creates really amazing images. As you can see, these are all the images created using alchemy. This one as well. Let's copy this prompt and let's generate all these images have extremely high details. As you can see, these images. So you can create some amazing content using alchemy. Now let's go back to AI image generation and let's paste this prompt right here. Now let's take it from Dream Shaper to Leonardo Diffusion and Photography to Environment and let's generate few images. And these are the images that were generated using this prompt. And look at the highly detailed images. Now let's take it from Leonardo Diffusion to maybe Dream Shaper and Environment to Photography. And look at these amazing images as you can see right here. As you can see these are the different images I generated by changing few settings. So as you can see right here I use Dream Shaper as my fine tune model and 3D render as the mode. And these are the images. Now look at the details of the images. I'm really happy with the intricate details, the small details of the images. Now instead of this prompt, I change the prompt to a close detailed look at sprawling metropolis of glimmering skyscrapers. Desert look, old civilization hovering above the city. Dream shaper, photography. And these are the results that I got. They look really amazing. I increased the resonance so that I get some more details. Now instead of photography, I'm going to select 3D render and I'm going to increase the residence furthermore and also enable expanded domain and click on generate. These are the results as you can see and you can also upscale the images. There is an option alchemy crisp upscale. So this also works pretty well and it increases the resolution furthermore. We have already selected high resolution, but it increases the resolution further more. Now let's try creating an image using Leonardo Diffusion and environment. These are the results I got using Leonardo Diffusion. Now different fine tune models will give you different results and you can play around with different settings to achieve these kind of results. We upscaled the images and these are the upscaled images as you can see. The resolution is really high and you can use these images in different places. Now if you have the pro version, you can use it commercially. You also have control over everything that you do. Now there are a lot more features that I have to cover which will be covered in the future videos. For now I am just focusing on how to create different environments in alchemy. Now let's try some other fine tune model like Leonardo Signature. It mostly works good with Dream Shaper V6 and Leonardo Diffusion. Let's try Leonardo Signature. These images are not that good. I will stick to Leonardo Diffusion and try some other mode 
other than 3D render photography and environment. Let's try dynamic or sketch. I don't like sketch, ray traced. Maybe I'll try, I'll try dynamic only. So dynamic, decrease the resonance, switch off the expanded domain. I'll keep the image high resolution and let's see what it comes up with. There is a lot more to cover about this feature, Alchemy. This is only available in the Pro version as of now. In fact, it is not even available as of now, just for some of the creators. But soon it will be available and it will have a one week free trial for whoever is signed up to Leonardo.ai. And you can try it as well for one week, but after one week it is paid. So. I'll bring some more tutorials in my future videos. This was it for the video. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.